Well, good evening, everyone. I'm here in Ottawa tonight in my office and uh, going through constituent correspondence and getting a lot of questions about when the next election is going to be in Canada and questions about a vote that was held in the House of Commons about elections in Canada. So I just wanted to address that. So let me start by saying this. Canada is currently under something called a minority parliament. What does that mean? It means that the governing party, or Justin Trudeau's Liberals, while they have the most seats in the House of Commons by party, they don't have a majority of seats. So opposition parties, so the Conservatives, the Bloc Québécois, the NDP, the Greens and Independents, there's actually more seats in people that aren't part of the governing party than people that are part of the governing party. And that sounds really complicated and confusing. But what it means is that Justin Trudeau's Liberals can't unilaterally pass legislation without having the support of one or more parties in the House of Commons. Now, of course, Conservatives don't support Justin Trudeau's Liberal agenda. But functionally, what that means is, it's, especially in parliamentary committees, Justin Trudeau's Liberals can't just ram stuff through the House of Commons. and that really cheeses off Justin Trudeau because, you know, he doesn't like to work really hard and he doesn't like to be transparent to Canadians. So this is causing some issues for him because from time to time, particularly the Conservatives, we put up a strong opposition to his Liberal agenda. So you'll have heard many times in the House of Commons over the last year or within political punditry, people speculating about when Justin Trudeau would call an election. So at any point in time, Justin Trudeau can go to the governor general. We don't actually have one right now. That's another issue, but he could technically trigger an election. So I've had a bunch of constituents ask me like, well, when is the next election going to happen? Um, it's important to note the minority parliament, but there's been some questions about a vote that happened in the House of Commons. And I just want to talk about that. So there's something that our that's called supply day motions in the house. And what that means is that the op an opposition party has the chance to control debate in the House of Commons. The government is not gonna control debate or the agenda that day for all intents and purposes. So when the Bloc Québécois had that power on one day some time ago, they put forward the following motion. I'm gonna read it to you precisely. That the house remind the government, so the Liberal Party, that a general election was held in October 2019 and sadly note that more than 1.3 million Canadians, including almost 360,000 Quebecois, have been infected with COVID-19 and nearly 25,000 people have died as a result and that in the opinion of the House, holding an election during a pandemic would be irresponsible and that it's the responsibility of the government to make every effort to ensure that voters are not called to the polls as long as this pandemic continues. Now, why did the Bloc Québécois put that forward? They put that motion forward because Justin Trudeau has been trying to call or muster up support for an election during a pandemic, during lockdown. Now think about this. There's all these provincial restrictions that many of you are living under right now that would that prohibit you from gathering, prohibit you from going to work, that prohibit from children from going to schools. And there would obviously be implications for how an election would be conducted under that. Like, how would you go to the polls under that? How would you door knock? How would politicians go out and try to contact voters and, and effectively topple Justin Trudeau's government? Um, Justin Trudeau has done everything possible to try to stop the democratic process in Canada, be it proroguing parliament, and by that I mean essentially shuttering parliament, He's filibustering committees so that we can't get documents. He's obstructing your right to know. And this sort of, that, that sort of dictatorship tendency that he has, the Bloc Québécois clearly had an issue with that in terms of carrying that forward to Justin Trudeau calling an election during a pandemic. So they put this motion forward in the House of Commons. It is non-binding on the government, but it's essentially saying, look, the government should be focusing on getting us through this pandemic. They're, they should be providing solutions, durable solutions to keep Canadians safe, but ensuring that we don't have these 
continuing restrictions on lockdown before calling a federal election. And that makes sense. Now, the Justin Trudeau liberals, many of you might not realize this, they put forward a bill in the House of Commons specifically around how an election would be conducted under a pandemic. And it's things like allowing ballots to be counted after election day. So this motion was put forward basically to say like, look, the, the federal government has an obligation to get us through the pandemic before using it for political gain, right? And potentially, frankly, I mean, this is not what the Bloc Québécois motion says, but like, I do have concerns about Canadians being disenfranchised if an election is called during a pandemic. That's something that responsible parliamentarians should be talking about. So um, most members of parliament voted in favor of this motion. I've had some constituents say, well, the House of Commons decided to shut down elections. Anybody who's telling you this is just, they're lying to you for political gain too. And that's not right. So can, can elections go forward in, in Canada right now? Yes, absolutely. Like if Justin Trudeau wanted to, he could go and trigger an election tomorrow. We're also in a minority parliament. So in theory, and I'm not saying we're doing this, the opposition parties could get together and say, well, there's, it's, it's time for an election. But it's about responsibility. And that's what was at the core of this motion. Um, so I just want to say this, like anybody who's saying that an election is not possible in Canada right now is just wrong. And I encourage you to share this video to uh, get people to, you know, perhaps read this motion before they make assumptions about this. Now, I'm going to say this. Does Justin Trudeau want an election? He absolutely, absolutely wants an election. Justin Trudeau wants an election so bad. Why does Justin Trudeau want an election? Because he knows he's vulnerable. I mean, like, he's completely mishandled the pandemic. He spent hundreds of billions of dollars without any potential, you know, positive impact for Canadians. There's so I, I, I could talk to you for hours about why Justin Trudeau wants an election. Also inside Ottawa gossip, like the finance minister, Christia Freeland, everybody talks about her wanting his job, her nipping at his heels. He wants to secure power so that he's not challenged, right? So Justin Trudeau desperately wants an election. But what's in the best interest of the Canadian public? That's the big question here right now, right? I would like to see us get through the pandemic by the pandemic i mean getting some line of sight on when life's getting back to normal um so that businesses can reopen families can safely reunite and life came back to normal we have the tools at our disposal to do that i'm just gonna say one thing quickly as well some of you will ask me well like what about a motion of non-confidence on the on the government I've done so many videos about this. We're in a minority parliament. Motions of confidence happen all the time, all the time. The federal government actually just implemented a budget. That was a vote of confidence, but the NDP propped the government up. So there are motions of confidence that happen in the House of Commons, but people will, like certain parties like the NDP will vote to support the government so that the government continues. I know this sounds really complicated and technical, but at the end of the day, um, do you really think it's fair for Justin Trudeau to ram an election down your throat when they're saying like people like me can't go door to door to talk to voters when the mainstream media who has many of them have liberal bias would be communicating on behalf of the liberals or when you, we don't have really any clear line of sight how a voter like you would be able to submit a ballot when indoor gatherings aren't allowed. Like those are questions that should be answered responsibly so that no Canadian is disenfranchised during an election. And to do that, like you guys know me, I've been advocating for the federal government since March to have a clear plan with benchmarks and a plan to safely reopen. I, and they voted against that as well too. So look, um, anybody who's saying that there's not going to be elections in Canada, that talking point is going to be we quickly disabused when there's an election and politicians are on the doorsteps again, right? Nobody can remove the right for Canadians to have elections without like 
a significant, I, it, it, I'll put it mildly, this is not happening in the House of Commons right now, and anyone who's telling you that is just like, not on top of things, obviously. I will say this, does Justin Trudeau have the moral right to govern? No, absolutely not. I think that Justin Trudeau has done an absolutely abysmal job. I think he's a terrible leader. He's a blackface practitioner. I think, you know, when you when you look about how look at how he's treated women, he's a hypocrite. He's terrible. He's mismanaged the public funds. There's the we, we charity scandal. We don't have, um, you know, the, the the Americans are currently enjoying almost a fully open economy. We're nowhere clear, cl uh, close to that right now. There's so many things we could litigate Justin Trudeau on, but like, we will have an election at some point. Um, but this motion that the Bloc Québécois put forward said that Justin Trudeau shouldn't be triggering an election for his own personal gain. And I'm sure he has interesting caucus conversations with his finance minister who is eagerly looking for the job. Mark Carney and others who my colleague Pierre Pauly have regularly put the, the hammer to, they all want Justin Trudeau's job because even the Liberal Party people know that he is not the right person for the job. But anyway, um, that is my response to constituents who are asking me about this. So anybody, anybody who's saying like, can we have an election in Canada? Yes. Um, do we want to play into Justin Trudeau's agenda? No, and that's what the motion was in the House of Commons. And I, I can't believe somebody voted against that. Who would vote to support Justin Trudeau's agenda? That's kind of crazy. I mean, even the Liberals didn't even vote to support Justin Trudeau's agenda, but somebody did. Not great. I'm still in my office at what, where are we at here? We're at 9, 10 p.m. Eastern Time in Ottawa. I have got so much work to do. I'm trying to hold the government to account on so many issues. Um, I'm going to keep working here and hopefully get back to Calgary this weekend again. Working hard for you in Ottawa. Please share this video, especially for people who might be talking to you like, oh, we're not allowed to have elections in Canada. Yes, but it has to be done responsibly and safely and not at Justin Trudeau's behest. Working hard for you in Ottawa. Great day.